Hey, you guys, and welcome to the Steel Wars Hyper Chat. I'm Steel Saunders, and I do love Star Wars. And I feel like this light is making me pink. Am I pink today, everyone? Trust me, in real life, I'm far less pink than this. Let me tell you. And very excited because it's Thursday. It is Thursday, the 21st of January, 2021. And like every Thursday we attempt, sometimes we have success. We've been doing pretty well lately. Welcome to his little show, Corey Van Dyke. And Aubrey, who I did before. Hi. <laughs> there we go. What's going on, Steel Wars? <laughs> Not much, Kessel Run. Dude, what what have you been – what is with that beanie? What, are you up to some gang activity after the stream? <laughs> what? No, I just – it's it's new, it's blue. It's very new beanie, right? Come on. It's new, it's blue. Is, is, yeah. that, is that your wrapping beanie? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just – it's so comfy. You wouldn't okay. understand. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, I don't understand comfort. <laughs> That's right. I, I yeah, I, I, I've got a, a barbed wire um, do rag that I like to wear just to get the pain. Oh, he's, he's walked off. Aubrey, how are you, buddy? I'm I'm good. How are you? I am uh, delightful. I I was so confused because I thought you guys were together, and then you came in on different screens. And I was so praying that you were just in different rooms, I, but but alas, you are not. I, it, was, it was my misinformation. But you know, I um, what's going? Oh, Corey, you've got your old um, you're going for the old hat, the the yeah, 40th anniversary. Quick, quick switch. Um, yeah, you guys look infinitely better than I do right now in this lighting. I look like I'm like salvaging whatever I have, and you guys look very nice. So. <laughs> It's because you're down below. It's not as light on the um on, on the bottom level of YouTube. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's how it works. That's how it works. Now, um, hey, um, ah, oh, Jordan would like to know if we've got um Corey Van Drunk on the show today. No. Okay. Never Good, to know. Good to know. Hey, do you remember we had so much fun on the birthday uh, stream the other night? Do you remember the scoop that you dropped? Yeah. I do. Yeah, I, I was told about that. So, okay, let, let, let's go to the tape. Corey, look down the bottom. Oh yeah, so like Thrawn, you know, guy in blue. Um, or is, is that the scoop? Is that the scoop? Yeah. Yeah. Officially, Lars. Uh, listen, listen. I I can explain that like. <laughs> This is all no outlaw. This is all no outlaw's fault, honestly. All right, all well, right. It's really not, but I want to. I want to blame him. So, all right, excellent. Um, we've got some advice here from uh, I can't even say. Joa Rogue Pinto says you'll keep keep your friends close and your stalkers closer. So, okay. um, shout out Aubrey. Where where are you at? <laughs> yeah, on, on this side. Is that how I do it? Yes. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hey, so, um, yes, I, I definitely do, James. Now, I thought it would be fun if um, just while, you know, Star Wars is just doing its little thing in semi-holiday mode, see you, Corey, if I found this YouTube filled with old Hasbro toy commercials that I was very keen to watch, and so I figured we'll just watch them on the show because we didn't. I I don't remember ever seeing a Hasbro toy. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go. Uh, all right. For those listening to the podcast feed, Corey now has his Empire Strikes Back hat on top of his beanie, very um, NorCal biker style. Um, Is this something people actually do? Because that's whack. Yeah, no, no, they do. Professional skateboarder Jason Jesse, very legendary skateboarder. Um, he does get around like that. So I thought you were doing an ode 
to um no definitely not i thought that would just make for good content so really i'm doing you a favor but hey you're like constantly. fashion police content yeah i will say still the last week i have been cooked up to oblivion um by multiple people potentially in this this in this uh little space here um so i'm used to it <laughs> all right all right um what are you what are you cracking into now this is water oh, okay god i was gonna say you're <laughs> off the edge off the edge. edge um yeah so i never um saw any of these commercials because i don't think they got shown in australia and i don't know like you guys mightn't even be aware of these toys i have no yeah. idea but they were a big part of my um star wars fandom in 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 those middling years um should should we just like watch one and see what goes on no we sure. should okay great. sweet 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 all right i'll get this on the you know, i love reactions <laughs> here we go oh i should just point out this is from i'll pull up the screen uh henderson productions 2 is his uh address on um on youtube wow this one's got over a hundred thousand views it's not as though we saw luke skywalker on a tv show or anything oh. <laughs> yeah right. that kind of stuff gets you five hundred thousand views i'm not sure if you knew that oof oof don't flex don't flex well were both you guys born during this time period, 1994 to 1999? We're both 98. Yeah, we're, we're 98 years. Yep. Wow. So I, I was in Toys R Us trying to get this stuff, and you guys just didn't exist. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's facts. Little did I know, little did I know when I was, like, going through the city, going to Toys R Us, and I saw a guy wearing a beanie, and then I saw a guy wearing a hat, that those things would converge years later for Corey's, this this, this friend that doesn't even exist, um, signature style, new signature style. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what goes on. Oh, wait, I've got to crank this up. Whoa, 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 need it louder than that. Here we go. Wars, power of the Force Collection. Darth Vader leads an evil empire towards universal domination. <laughs> Join the brave rebellion of Skywalker, Han Solo, and Chewbacca, and Jedi Obi Wan Kenobi. Can you <laughs> the Empire, the Star Wars Power of the Force Collection from Je Hey, that's a good commercial. Now, Aubrey, do you now want to buy bits of plastic that are painted with lightsabers? Oh, I bought many bits of plastic that were painted and had lightsabers. When nice. I was there. Are you got these are the first ones that came out right um in the new series and they're the super muscly ones mm, yeah and no one wanted super muscly ones but everyone ran out and bought them do you know why Cause, for the joke because there was nothing else to do <laughs> <laughs> well, there, was, there was no internet there was nothing there was no figures so we just we we just got our muscly ones. What were you gonna say, Corey? Well, there was that drought from like I think it was what like nineteen eighty five to nineteen ninety five. So it was like ten years, and there was no Star Wars merchandise really out. I mean, so it makes sense why people were hyped. Um, it's definitely an interesting choice making it muscular, but I think He Man was super popular around that time. So no, 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 no. He Man was done, son. He really? Man, he Man was what we all moved on to from Kenner figures. Oh, okay. So, so like in like 84, 85, that was when He-Man was like billion dollar figures. But by this time, um, they were out. Like, you know, He-Man was just done. And I, I don't know what figures were sort of, like Ninja Turtles would have been probably still pretty good. Still Did you remind good. me of Ninja Turtles, like the, the 90s Ninja Turtle figures? Yeah, but absolutely um like in retrospect just brutal but at the time and this was the thing with star wars i was just like oh i i i'm wrong 
these must be what people want. And I'm just an outlier that just wants like normal, non, I I was like, okay, because I, I I hadn't come to the phase that I could judge Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought Star Wars could judge me, not the other way around. You know what I'm saying? My, my have things changed by the way. Hey, I've also, I've got to sizzle this. I've got a tube. Okay. At the end of this episode, I will open the tube. Ooh. That's a mystery. Mystery tube. All right. All right. Just, this is how this is how you get um increased engagement or something. Because yeah, everyone you're, you're doing unboxings like a true YouTuber now. Listen, if if you're like ring your friends, say Steel's got a tube. He's gonna show us what's in the tube by the end of this, and it, it's it's get him to 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 log on, as it were. Mm. Let's go telephone viral. Telephone viral. All okay. right. That's a real sentence you just said. Okay, let's keep that. Right. In a brave rebellion of Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Chewbacca, and Jedi Obi Wan Kenobi, can you stop the Empire, the Star Wars, Power of the Force collection from Jedi? Now the universe is. I do have to say, this Kenner logo is. An absolute crime against fonts. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> oh, it's like it's some, it's some early use of Star Jedi font. Um, yeah. Just listen, stick with the blue. It, it works so well, Kenna. Now the universe has changed forever. The Star Wars Power of the Force collection. When Darth Vader and his stormtroopers attack, join Princess Leia. Ah, Millennium Falcon. Very good. I, I do have to preface: I have not watched these ads, so that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting genuine pops out of this. This is a reaction video. I might, I might tear up at the end. Who knows? <laughs> I might tear up when I open my shoe. Really? Escape in the mighty Millennium Falcon. Experience the real movie sounds of light speed when Darth Vader's Tie Fighters are on your tail. Hear the force of the Falcon's purple laser. Can you blast Vader's Tie Fighters to be? Never underestimate the power of the force. The Star Wars Power of the Force collection, each sold separately from Kenner. Oh, that font! Star Wars in it. I I wasn't even like a thought when that commercial came out. Like there, I mean, at all. I might have had a nightmare. Like woken up. Had a premonition. <laughs> Why didn't they make the uh, the Falcon buff? What? Why didn't they make the Falcon buff? Wow, this is where um, this is not an issue of the nineties, Corey, because this is why it was so perplexing. This whole um, Power of the Force Two business, because they redid all the figures, they did new sculpts and stuff, but the vehicles were just the molds from the 70s and 80s. Oh, right, yeah. But then, then they added, like, some electronics and stuff like that to a few of them. And the Falcon is just out of proportion because they had to make it so... They had to make the cockpit so big and, f- like, so figures would fit. And then the back of it, like, tubby so figures could stand in there without making it, like, 18 feet wide by um like if it was to scale you know what i'm saying Corey? yeah they do but the weird thing is and we talked about this on um star wars you by podcast this week is one of the artists in the 70s and the 80s that was doing paintings for like the lando carizian books yeah they their reference painting for the millennium falcon was the kenner one so on all the book covers, it's like the Kenner Millennium Falcon, like on this movie Star Wars poster. Have you seen that before? Do you know what I'm talking about, Aubrey? Yeah. I'll see if I can wait there. I'll get I'll get one up. Lando Carisian. Oh, it looks so good. Thank you. I have wait, wait, I have wait, wait, is it here? Look. Corey gave it to me. Oh. <laughs> look, at, look at Aubrey's setup. It's so good. It's it so is. good. I, I, it's, I, 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 it's, it's good because of this. Ah, ah, nice. Ignite yeah. the green. Ignite the green. 
I thought that was just um because he's such a YouTube, you know, internet person that he was just complimenting like your hair today, saying, Oh, you're set up so good, because that's how he's learned how to talk. Like <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the other day he was actually like looking at me he was like you're fully articulated you have a bald point here and you have like hinge here and on all your fingers and you're fully painted too has has broken learn a lot from you aubrey it's <laughs> exactly. a it's a scale it's a scale very lifelike um <laughs> wow that's something i never thought would be public <laughs> everything's public wow. all right here i got these um book deals a bit small with yeah the, yeah see how the falcons like all out of proportion yeah <laughs> that's great pretty sick all right wait there get rid of that but i remember getting that the reissue of the falcon and just being so happy to have a like to have a falcon that wasn't going to make me poor because like yeah. the, the vintage one at the time i'm sure it's like five times the price but back then it did feel like it was a lot you know but um, yeah it was so confusing because they kept the old molds of the vehicles but then they've done like so it's it's your old toys but then there's these beefed up dudes just back from the gym getting in there it was uh it was very confusing. All right. Escape in the mighty Millennium Falcon. Experience the real movie sounds of light speed. When Darth Vader's TIE fighters are on your tail, hear the force of the Falcon's turbo laser. Go for it. Can you blast Vader's TIE fighters to pieces? Never underestimate the power. Ah, oh, I should say, this is how... See this bit here. Right there. Force collection from... I love that the, I love that the universe has changed forever. Yeah. Now that steroids are arrived. <laughs> I just really want to see like a documentary on the power of the force and how they conceived of this idea. <laughs> see see how close they are here? Yeah. Yeah, that's how everyone drives in LA. <laughs> yep. I've seen that checks out. Right, I got, got a new one. Out of Star Wars and into your hand. It's an exclusive Kenner action figure. Ah! Han Solo disguised as a storm. from Kellogg's Fruit Loops series. What? Why? What? What don't you get about that one, Corey? You so you get like if you buy a box of Fruit Loops, Han Solo was in it. Yes. We still wow. had that when we were little. That's that's true, but I feel like figures were a lot more rare. Like I don't remember any like serial promotions having figures in them i do like remember like little toys um i i think there was that one and i think it was with serial there was a ghost of obi-wan kenobi oh yes i do remember that which um was not very well articulated but this one so it only came out in america as far as i know with the the serial and i remember going to a collector's fair and because I didn't have the internet, I didn't know about this figure. And I just thought it was fan made. I didn't think it was like an official Star Wars figure. And I had the set and I was couldn't wait for the next series. And then I think that week I maybe was on the internet and I found out about that. And, you know, these collector's fairs only came around every couple of months. And I was in the pits of despair that I'd missed my chance to buy this one like special uh action figure ever i was like i'll never see that figure again little did i know but at the time it was just it like it it was the 90s version of okay what's the vibe check that is a major vibe check i'm majorly checked right now it was desperate times desperate times but it was the first time that um there was like in the power of the force one, there was a Luke Skywalker stormtrooper figure. Yeah. And then this time they had the Han Solo and it was very good times. I remember they had the, the Luke and like a game, right? The stormtrooper Luke. 
And he had his, he, they'd done other ones before, but this was the variant. Have a guess. How they made how they made a, a stormtrooper, a Luke in stormtrooper disguise, how they made it a variant that does appear in the film. Any guesses? There's a wet hair. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty up to date on my power of the force. All right. right, all right. Um, and if you um, bought, if there was cereal called Corios, you'd get a Luke Skywalker with a beanie on. Yeah. And a hat on top of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the that's the limited edition chase figure. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. very rare, very rare. For the Force Collection, each sold separately from Kenner. Out of Star Wars and into your hand. It's an exclusive. Oh, here we go. It's this one again. Han Solo disguised as a stormtrooper. Bring with two fruits from Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. May the Force be with you. It's with me. The Star Wars Power of the Woo! Force Collection. The biggest ships for the biggest battles. Now, in the sleek X-Wing fighter as rebel hero Luke Skywalker, you experience the real movie sounds of space flight. Your mission free Han Solo from the clutches of Darth Vader and bounty hunter Boba Fett. Now, you have Imperial Scout Troopers on the sick. speeder bikes. And massive Scout Walkers to deal with. Mm. Toy does not the shoot! And the free Han Solo. Now, you have the power. The Star Wars Power of the Force Collection. Figures and decals each sold separately. From that X-Wing was actually my first Star Wars toy ever. It was the X-Wing with the Power of the Force Luke. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was so cool. You could just, like, you could hold down R2, and then it would start making noises. There'd be a button. Like, oh, no, you held down R2, and then the wings came out when you did that. And then there was the firing action. That's one of the best X-Wings you've ever put out, I think. Do, do the wings opening again, Corey? No. <laughs> Damn it. It was a good little dance. We could all do that at Star Wars Celebration. The next one we're on the dance floor. Do the X, do the, yeah. the R2 button. Hey, as a kid, did it annoy you that the R2-D2 couldn't come out? Yes. It did. Oh, yeah. Because as an adult, oh, it killed me. So, yeah. I, um, hey, I reckon that commercial was actually banging. I, I was into the um, the EU of the X wings coming in on Endor and fighting the ATSTs. Yeah, it's cool. Now, if I remember correctly, Aubrey wasn't your first figure X wing Luke as well. Not X wing Luke. My dad um, grew up with the original Kenner toys. Um, when he was really little, he went and saw all the movies when they came out, um, and so he had stored. Slave One and the Millennium Falcon and all of his like tiny little Kenner toys um, for the longest time until he had like me and my brother and we played with them. So one of my early Star Wars toy memories is playing with Slave One, like the original Slave One. One, one, one of your earliest memories is ruining, ruining the value of expensive collectibles. Well, he, he kept them for us, but unfortunately because they, the like plastic was so brittle, they only lasted like a week and we barely played with them and it, it was tragic. Oh, so just over there, I've got my cabinet with my vintage things on it, like in it, and I've never opened it in front of Harry. So he doesn't think it can open. Like I always just say, mm. Brocken, I Brocken. And there's a vintage ad at on top of it and he's just started to notice it. And uh, go, he's like, mine. Give it, give it, give it. <laughs> and Jackie said, oh, you asked dad and laughing because she knows how much I'll be like. Duh. Yeah. And I'm like, no, team effort. There's no ask father. It's just, <laughs> it's no, it's, it's, there's don't, don't bring politics. I don't want politics in my vintage attic getting destroyed. So um, I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous that um, Harrison might pull an Aubrey and, <laughs> uh, and 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 ruin what's going on. But just having the um, in this ad, the Endor vibes, just the best. Speeder bike again. That speeder bike was just a duplicate of um, the '80s one. But I love down here. They've got the clip of the adapt from the movie from return of the Jedi. And then it beautifully blends into the toy adapt. And then just so they don't get sued for false advertising, there's a little message down the bottom. Check it out. Toy does not shoot. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I had so I think I had all of those except no, I had all of those. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely had all of those. I I, I was. I, I was at a point where I, I didn't have to pay rent, but I had money. So anything new that would come out, like, I'd be like, oh, yeah. Because it was at retail. I couldn't believe I could buy Star Wars toys at retail. Yeah. All right. So, Here's got another Falcon bit of action. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of Whoa! How many have they released now? They have gone buck wild. Time <laughs> jump. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. The biggest, most realistic force in the universe. Only the power of the Force brings you the biggest heroes and villains <laughs> from the movie. The largest fleet of <laughs> vehicles ever. We bring you the real movie detail of the Rebel Snowspeeder. The blazing light of the Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Night the green! The movie sounds of the <laughs> There we go. When it comes to big size, big detail, and big movie sounds, now you're playing with the power. Star Wars, power of the Force. Figures and vehicles each sold separately. Batteries not included, only from Kenner. I love how they recreated the Luke and Vader fight, and it looked good. It was it didn't look cheesy. It actually, like it was choreographed pretty well. That kid was having a good day at the office. Mm -hmm. Oh my stars! He jumped into the Hoth base. What do you think the odds are that you could get one of those kids on now? Like, oh. that's what that experience. I don't know, but look at him. He's uh, where. He's having a bloody good time right there. Falcon action. Oh. Hey, why is it going? Oh, is it going backwards? It oh. is. Yes. oh, man, I didn't know I could do it both ways. Oh, this is. No, now this one's going backwards. Nope. It's, it's going forward. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's panning down. Yeah. This is what I like. That one's great. I, think I remember always wanting that snow speed, but never getting it. Snow speed was good. It had the little harpoon. This, this is the action. Look at this. Darth Vader, I'm going to jump into my TV <laughs> and electrocute you and suck you into <laughs> it. Wow. Love his haircut. I had that one. Like this. It, they, they should have a little... You know how they had, like, um, Toy Does Not Shoot? They, they should have You Can't Grab Toys from Television because that's some Willy Wonka. I, I wish that, like, during the Clone Wars era, I was in some Clone Wars TV commercials. I'm sure you would have had too much fun with that, yeah. That would have been yeah. amazing. Like, I just feel like I'd have such a legacy. Look at him. <laughs> Grabbing it and... Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Big wow. to bring you the real movie detail of the Rebel Snowspeeder, the blazing lights of the Luke Skywalker lightsaber, and the big movie yeah, sound of the X-Wing. Good choreography right When it comes to big size, big detail. Hey, when it comes to big size and big detail. And big movie sounds. Now you're playing with the power. Star Wars, power of the force. Figures and vehicles each sold separately. Batteries not included, only from Kenner. Excellent. And I like the very American style, um, like the medication ads, where it's like, yeah. may cause death, may cause heart attack, may cause this. Do you think anyone ever attempted to jump into their TV because of those commercials? Like any kid just... I don't know. I, I, I think yes, based based on this. That when I was very young, I thought if I could just learn to eat dirt, I would never be without food. And tried to eat dirt and then quickly realized this plan was not going to work out. But if I was going to hatch that, such a plan, I feel like someone did, yes, try to run into the, uh, the television. What do you think of my dirt plan, Corey? I want to know why. Like, like, how did you conceive that idea as a child? Like, I was yeah. like, well, I, w I, I wouldn't have to go inside to get any food. Like, I, we weren't like, like, we weren't, there was, there was food inside. But I just thought I wouldn't have to walk inside to get the food. Yeah, that's so definitely I, yeah, a special kind of thinking. Hey, mate, I'm living off the land. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Crocodile Dundee. 
Sustainable. Oh, yes, Elijah. I did that too, Steel. Great minds think alike. Yeah, I wouldn't. I think you're stretching the friendship with the great minds. Um, <laughs> just to describe our, our mutual dirt eating scheme. Um, Jordan what, would like to know, does Harry eat dirt? Um, he eats beach sand, mm -hmm. um, sometimes by accident. And hey, when you eat sand, what you don't know, it's all got to come out. Okay. That's Yikes. all I'm going to say. It's, 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 it, it, when he does it, I'm just like, that's going to hurt come morning, buddy. That is going to hurt come morning. I saw the galaxy with the incredible weapon. Yeah, this is just for you. <laughs> I think that's Mark Hamill. Is it? Not, not, not with the lightsaber, doing the voiceover. Oh. All right, ready? Now, I saw the galaxy with the incredible weapons of the Jedi Knights, the Luke Skywalker lightsaber and the new Darth Vader lightsaber, both with blazing extendable light blades and three real movie sounds, Clash and Strike, Star Wars lightsabers. That is not included. Oh, I did not know Mark did commercials. For wow. <laughs> I is... did have that lightsaber. It was very good. Ignite the Green. Is that what started? No, what started it was the backflip catch in 83, yeah. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of vehicles. That's very exciting. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do you know who this is, Aubrey? Wait. Is that Prince Scissor? Oh, yeah. You could tell by the pheromones, <laughs> couldn't you? Oh, yeah, totally. Uh -huh. Wow. Courtship of Princess Leia. Oh. No, that wasn't in the courtship. That was in... But Is this in courtship? No, someone was trying to hook up with her in that one, but it wasn't... The, he was in Shadows of the Empire, which was between Empire and Jedi, but a very similar circumstance where someone's trying to um, dubiously win her over. So he, Corey, do you remember he had the um, the pheromones that would win women's favor? Yes, I do recall that. So Shadows of the Empire, they brought out all this merch. They brought out a soundtrack for a movie that didn't exist, a game, comics, books, figures, whatever. They should have brought out like deodorant, Shizor pheromone deodorant. Ooh. It'd be like a green mist. And then, do you know what I mean? Like, if you were yeah, rocking I hate, that, I hate everything about that—that <laughs> that is, uh, that's 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 definitely definitely a little sus, dude. That's a good use of the license. Anyway, let's see what let's see what this. That was very good visual. The production levels of these ads are just going through the roof. Sound slash and strike, Star Wars light slash and strike. <laughs> Prepare yourself for Star Wars <laughs> Shadows of the Empire. The cruel crime lord Shizor directs the carbonite capture of Han Solo and his imprisonment aboard bounty hunter Boba Fett's battle ready slave one. Now Luke Skywalker goes undercover with soldier of fortune Dash Rendar as he rips through space Yay. in his battle transforming outright. But can they stop slave one in time? It's the ultimate ships for the ultimate battle. Dare to enter the shadow Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Because in vehicles each sold separately. There. That was so sick. cool. Yeah, Where? I remember seeing those figures for the first time and being really confused because I didn't know about the book or the game or anything, and I just didn't know what it was. And I discovered it. So this figure, the Coruscant um, Luke Skywalker in disguise. I've got a vivid internet memory of this. This guy, he still writes for, I think, Entertainment Earth, Adam Paulus. He's like a toy blogger, really? reporter. And he used to have, how he would report Star Wars toy, toy news was that you signed up for his email newsletter, which he e just emailed just texts of like, hey, we've got a rumor of an R5-D4. And you'd be like, oh, that's all my Star Wars I know, you know, news I need for the month. But he had links to this like a pre-production image, like a leak out of the factory. And I had to leave. The internet was so slow where I was. I had to leave it on for like an hour to see this, like that image, like slowly 
download line by line and every time a new bit of the line of the of, of the suit the red suit appeared because like no one had ever seen this coruscant guard suit before it was like an hour long like trailer oh like, my God. as a new bit i was like oh and then i'd go make a coffee come back and i'm like oh there's another centimeter yes <laughs> That, that, that's actually pretty awesome. It was, um, wow. It, it was super sick. And that figure is also the only successful custom figure I've ever made because in the book, Lando Carizian also gets one of those suits and goes in disguise. So I chopped off a Lando head, got a second one of these, glued it on, custom figure. Perfect. Okay. No. Oh, no, I probably do have it, actually, back home. So I'll send it to you, Corey. It's, um, okay. you know, way, way better than those uh, those Lego figures that, 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 you know, some people paint up. I've got to tell you that much. <laughs> Walker goes undercover with Soldier of Ah, uh, look at that gun. Over the shoulder, Mayfield style, dash render. Hey, w Corey, would you... Would you be up for Dash Rendar doing a having a cameo in Mando or the Book of Boba Fett? Aubrey's with me. Totally, yes. Uh, yeah. I think that's interesting for sure. He doesn't. That's he interesting. Just, that's interesting. Yeah. Just to have him exist, would I? I'd be ah oh, over the moon, over the moon. Well, remember who that? Was that show? I remember. Yeah. He can team up with Toro. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right now we're talking uh, Aubrey. You know that we, don't, Aubrey... we, we don't need corey for a bit yeah, um, i agree about the toro thing you know um when toro first appeared in the cantina i thought it was dash render like i was oh. like oh God, they're gonna bring dash render into it and then it turned out to be a um an even bigger gift to the uh the star wars community hey corey sorry we just had to talk oh go ahead yeah, toro fan to toro space fan. in his battle transforming outright <laughs> but can they stop slave one in time it's the ultimate ships for the ultimate battle dare to enter the shadow dare! Star wars, shadows of the empire because in vehicle he sold separately from kenner kenner nobody does star wars like the power of the force from kenner the only universe with deluxe oh capture claw on solo geared up with smuggler flight pack <laughs> and luke skywalker with big battle action desert skin and only big Kevin battle action the full force and big detail of the rebel snow speeder with blazing laser lights blazing and big movie sounds now you're playing with the power star wars power of that the guy force. again figures come with vehicles no speeders sold separately batteries not so these controversial speeder. the uh the deluxe battle pack dealies Where are the they? sorry Corey. i had the boba fett i remember getting the boba fett and just being like what i would what i used to do is i would use the boba fett like the the rocket pack as like a gurney so whenever i played with my star wars toys if somebody got hurt i put them on the gurney <laughs> I love that every time you played Star Wars, someone had to get stretched off. <laughs> yeah, they had, there's always casualties in war. So okay, wow, how grim. The um, <laughs> like it's so weird, you know, because when these came out, it was one of those things where we ended up buying them because there was nothing else to do, and it was like the last thing, like in the Kmart Star Wars that I hadn't, you know, bought from the line. But, and then I was like, these are so bad. But now with, um, you know, with my rose colored glasses, I, I, God, I hope I've still got these. I, I must still have them at home back in Australia. Cause I, I, I would, I would like these on, on my shelf now. They are, look at, like, I don't even know how, like, you know how like a, a, a like, is it a bumblebee or something that, um, or some birds, they're scientifically, they shouldn't be able to fly like like yeah. sci scientifically han solo should not be able to stand up with that backpack on right you should have a major back problems at this point <laughs> definitely 
definitely. And these came out in Australia, didn't do very well. So we actually didn't get the next series, which was Boba Fett with the giant backpack. Mm. Um, I think I've still got that. Have I got a, I think I've got an image of that here. Oh, this bad boy. Bang. Mm. Yeah, that's the one. That's the gurney. <laughs> what we were robbed of in Australia was the one good one, which was the Imperial Probe Droid. They oh. did that. And it was killing me. And they are, oh, and they had the the snow trooper with that the gun from Mandalorian. Yeah. You know, that yeah. the Moff Gideon's like reads out the Wikipedia listing for. Which was very, very handy. Um, okay, Elijah says, according to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to fly. Oh. Bird. Blazing laser lights. So I'm confused about the bee comment. What? Yeah, what, 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 how do you mean? Bees do fly. Hey, you've caught them out. That shot's fired. Yeah, but they're saying scientific, like when they look at how it works, like mathematically they shouldn't be able to. Well, they just got to look deeper. We sure do. Speakers come with vehicles. No speakers sold separately. Batteries not included. From Kenner. Is that Mark Hamill? No, not that one. Kenner puts more power than ever in the power of the force. Oh. Oh, yeah. The place that's. This dude. He's loving it. Big movie sounds. Now you're playing with the power. Star Wars, power of the force. Figures come with vehicles. No speakers sold separately. Batteries not included. From Kenner. Kenner puts more power than ever in the power of the force. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's steel, honest to God. That's steel like 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's in the tube. It's a big picture of me on the set filming yeah. it. I remember the, the oh, Ignite the Green had this little play set. Power effects figures with electronic movie lights and sounds. Blaze across Tatooine with power Bla effects. God, they love... What was Blaze? Was the big <laughs> marketing word in um in the 90s. R2-D2, control his secret mission, along with his droid lights and sounds. And only Kenner brings you the real movie lights and action of Power FX Darth Vader and Power FX Luke Skywalker. Join them as their lightsabers glow, their destiny in your hands, in this ultimate battle of good versus evil. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force. Oh my god, I thought that was Moff Gideon at the end of Mandalorian Season 1. <laughs> Vader would like to try that again. Power FX figures each one separately. I feel like once Mark did his commercial, all these guys try to copy his style. Ah. <laughs> this isn't Mark, but that one with the Jedi Luke Saber is definitely him. I've got, um, see that, the the R2-D2 playset on Tatooine? I've got the real life thing to go in front of it for the special edition. Ooh. Or the Blu-ray. That, that is a rock from the canyon that R2-D2 rolls down in Death Valley. That is super cool. Because you know how, like, in the Blu-ray now, he's, like, behind yeah. the rock like that? Yeah. So I could, I, I've, I've got to get that to complete the whole... Well, like, and, and when I mean I've got to get that is I've got to go back to Australia and find it in a box because I got it, buddy. From Kenner. Kenner. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force. From Kenner, the biggest, most realistic force in the universe. Only the power of the Force brings you the largest fleet of full-scale vehicles straight from the movies. Like Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, the blazing laser lights and sounds of the Rebel Snowspeeder, and more of the biggest Star Wars heroes and villains, like new Han Solo. Ah! Oh. Ooh! Yep, I this this is the golden age of Power of the Force yeah, 2, I reckon. And in the skies and the evil emperor. When it comes to big size, big movie sounds, and big detail, now you're playing with the power. Star Wars, the power Woo! of the Force. Seas and vehicles, each sort of temporary batteries not included from Kenner. Now the power of the Force from Kenner brings you more big Star oh, Wars, the more big movie sounds well, than ever before. As a rule. That, that, wow. you know. that was a sweet bit of animation, i got to tell you. Rebel pilot, climb aboard your sleek A-wing. R.I.P. Tally. Pour one out for her. Tally. Dude, don't laugh about Tally. <laughs> yeah, sorry. 
Titan Fighter and blaze into battle against Darth Vader and his terrifying TIE Fighter. What? Terrifying TIE Fighter. I wish it said that on the box. <laughs> That'd be the best. Now, no, not Tally! Wait, was that Daniel Logan? Palpatine looking on. <laughs> Oh, this is sick. On Hoth, you fight alongside Hoth rebel soldiers against attacking... Oh, see, that's the weapon. That's We didn't get these in Australia. This is... I feel very uh, cold out here. Snowtroopers and their laser cannons. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Separately from Kenner. That was sick. Ah, oh, bit of special edition action coming up now. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Straight from the new Star Wars special edition come the creature figure two packs. Now you're a sand trooper aboard the massive reptilian Duvac searching for rebel droids on Tatooine. That wow. Is so cool. But peep the script reading, how quick he fits in all this. Like they've, they're only paying for their 30 seconds and advertisement. So they've got to get in as many words as possible. This is, um, now you're a Jew, blah, 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 blah. Comes with pilot, other figures with the Eagle sold separately from Kenner. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the force from Kenner. Straight from the new Star Wars special edition come the creature figure two packs. Now you're a sand trooper aboard the massive reptilian Dubax searching for rebel droids on Tatooine. Next, enter Mos Eisley as you and the Jawas command the Ronto. This beast of burden carries a heavy load, but only when it wants to. Beast and many so the Millennium Falcon, Jabba the Hutt, <laughs> as Han Solo bargained for your life with this vile gangster. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the force. Right here, Jabba. Two packs come with exclusive figure. Other figures and vehicles each sold separately from Kenner. I reckon that's Mark Hamill. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I like the tail. The tail was amazing. For the massive reptilian. This beast of burden. <laughs> I love it. Guys. Wants to. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Ready, Aubrey? Wiggle. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Shake it, shake it. California. <laughs> Look at his tail. Dancing Java. He's a Kenner. I wanted that Java so bad. I remember so wanting that Java more than like anything in the world when I had all the Power of the Force figures because Java. Wait, did I have it? Uh, I remember just like like when I got all the Star Wars figures, like when I watched New Hope for the first time and I had all the figures, I would always watch New Hope and be like, I need Jabba. I need this. Like, I love Jabba the Hutt. No one understands me. Sorry. Right. Uh, but I think Jabba the Hutt's the best. One of the best characters in Star Wars. So. Oh, he's dope. He's dope. But I remember like just because it was like special edition, just wanting all three because it was, it was new, 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 new. Yes into the Star Wars creature figure two packs. You're a sand trooper on the massive dewback hunt. Ah. I wonder. Wait there. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. All right. Okay. Wait. Just catch up. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's been a while. So. I know. It's been a long while. Yeah. How are you? Good. I'm just going to compliment your background again. If everyone watches, look like how great that is. We got, got Anakin and Thrawn, live action Clone Wars right there. Yes. It's one of, it's like, I love collecting Star Wars books. So this is my baby. I had to run at Comic Con, book it. I got there at, ha, book it. I got there at like 6 a.m., had to get up super early, take the train, was with my friends, ran in, and got my wristband for this. Funny story too is we were in the same place uh, around that time. I was we both went to Comic Con 2018, just didn't know it at the time, which is kind of crazy. Ah, yeah. ah. Hey, so see, see this um, the action figure on top of the Jewback. Yeah. Somehow I got onto someone that was like getting stuff from the factories direct, mm. like figures from China, and they would get stuff like leftovers and that and sell them cheap. And I have in this cupboard like a hundred of these sand troopers. That is so oh. cool. Damn, a hundred. 
Yeah, because I bought like a box of a hundred because I was gonna chop off all their pauldrons to make like a big oh. like, army of stormtroopers that would be yeah. all white. That's good. So uh yeah, if anyone needs um <laughs> a, a power of the force, um Jubak and uh yeah, I've got I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of them. Hey, what did you say? Jordan says you, you'll never believe what they said about me. What's going on? Don't make me rewind this. Well, you know, do what you gotta do. All right. <laughs> down rebel droids. Or look under the Millennium Falcon and find Jabba the Hutt. Your Han Solo and Jabba's looking for you. Two packs come with creature and figure each sold separately from Kenner. So how does it feel to enter the Star Wars power of the force from Kenner? It feels pretty good. <laughs> it's bigger than ever before. Now you're Luke Skywalker in your oh. Skyhopper. Target the Tusken Raiders, then open her up to whip through Beggar's Canyon. Then you're a rebel pilot in your sleek A-Wing fighter, blaze into battle against Darth Vader. Blaze. And terrifying TIE fighter. Terrifying. A-Wing comes with exclusive pilot other figures and vehicles in soul separately. Now get your favorite Star Wars trilogy scenes. Figures come with freeze frame action scenes. <laughs> Star Wars will take you next. So how does it feel to enter the all-new expanded universe? Oh, the AU! Here we go. No, no. Star yeah. Wars comics come alive as packages open to reveal a cool 3D play scene. Your Luke Skywalker face the evil clone. Is this the clone? Yeah. Shadow. Expanded universe 3D play scene figures each sold separately. That's the clone. So uh, that's from uh, what's the heir to them? No. What was Shadows of the Empire? No. R Rise of Skywalker. It's a movie. <laughs> it's from that. Great yeah. movie. Yeah. Wait, I'm recalling a comic book series with the clone Luke. That I used to read. What Luke? Yeah, the Luke. Dark Empire. Dark Emp. Oh my God! Dark Empire was my first like entrance into Star Wars comics. I remember being in a comic shop and seeing like the collected edition of it, and being so confused. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Feel to be at the controls of the new Power FX X-wing. Ah. Oh. Strap yourself into the biggest X-wing ever. With Ooh. That was Strap pretty good. Strap yourself in. Are you strapped in, Corey? Always. Okay. 15 heart pumping movie lights and sound effects. You're Luke Skywalker. I'm going in. And Vader's breathing down your neck. Fire! The Power FX X Wing each sold separately. A totally new Star Wars movie is coming next summer, and a new Jedi Master can be yours. Get the first exclusive Episode 1 figure, Mace Windu, only with Damn. six Kenner Star Wars that figures. Is so cool. has your website for detail. Go there. This dude was like drinking a lot of coffees before recording these advertisements because he's getting those words in. Mace Windu, how is that? Was I, I was pretty pumped up for that episode one sizzle? <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually very exciting. And you can notice how they've slimmed down now, <laughs> they're not as big as before. Oh, and, and and that might mark you guys might have been alive for the screening of that commercial, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so y you're born in the same year. Yes. Yeah. All I'm saying is, is in Return of the Jedi, you find out they're brother and sister. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Steel. Thank you right. for that. Yeah. Hey, I'd respect, I'd go, they're true fans. They're really, in they're like, so how does it feel to jump into one of the all-new Star Wars gunner stations from Kenner? It's like being in the middle of an imperial dogfight. These ads are sick. Tail. You're Luke Skywalker. You hook up with Han Solo as you both fire your quad laser cannons. They're coming in fast. Stay on target and send Vader for a spin. Now the worlds of Star Wars are in your hands. Watch as Endor opens to reveal an Ewok area. That is so cool. Gunner stations and complete galaxy come with figure. Eat soul separately. Hmm. So, the planets i'd forgotten about the little open up planets and there's one with yoda and he's having yep. his little soup yep oh my god all right let's uh let's bang out a few more well, how does it feel to enter the star wars expanded universe you're being chased by the empire on the all-new speeder bike slam on the air brakes and let him have it now you're in the rebel air speeder attack wings oh you know what this is macquarie 
Fuck. Missile fired. At at burn. Vehicles come with figure each sold separately from Kenner. At at burn. <laughs> Star Wars Episode One is coming this summer. Get a sneak preview of yes. Star Wars characters with new power of the Force figures. Oh yes. He was Darth Vader. He was young Anakin Skywalker. And this Jedi was brash young Obi Wan Kenobi. These Episode One sneak previews are yours with new power of the Force figures. Figures each sold separately. Dude, I. <laughs> <laughs> I did that so just to see a picture. Like I had a picture of episode one in my house. <laughs> oh, where is this? Yeah, I remember um, oh. having those and playing with them all the time. Those are those. Are <gasps> that um, is so cool. Look at that from the commercial. The commercial worked, and I didn't even see it. Listen, the explosive words and sounds of the Star Wars Comtech system. Imagine yourself in the movie. My sense of disturbance in the Force. May the Force be with you. You join us. You will be a Jedi, I promise. <laughs> you have been well trained. You haven't experienced Star Wars until you've experienced Comtech. The new set of chips, readers all separate, oh. always not included. It's what? your universe. I had that Qui Gon. I yeah. definitely had that Qui Gon. I had that vibe. <laughs> the music was great, dude. That was amazing. <laughs> that was that was easily the best one we've seen so far. Um, the they're really upping the production value for this uh, episode one business. Climb into the electronic Naboo fighter and oh. clash with the Trade Federation. <laughs> You're Anakin Skywalker, hurtling into battle against an overwhelming. I like how they tell the kid who they like. You're Luke Skywalker. You're Anakin Skywalker. They're really like, I don't know. They're opening up the imagination. Like, who doesn't want to be Anakin Skywalker? Droid fighter assault. I know we're in trouble. Just hang on. Naboo is getting pounded. <laughs> You managed to take one down. Only 2,000. Naboo was like Corey on Saturday night. <laughs> More to go. You haven't experienced Star Wars until you found the electronic Naboo fighter. Droid fighters sold separately. Batteries not included. Listen to the electronic power. Oh, wait. you got to check out this guy's facial. Amazing. Little Listen. Look at him. He's <laughs> feeling it. To the electronic power of a giant sized Jedi. Control a Jedi Master. The edits. Or the evil Darth Maul. <laughs> you haven't experienced Star Wars until you've experienced the electronic Qui Gon Jinn and Darth Maul. Wow. You haven't experienced Star Wars until you experience electronic Qui Gon Jinn and Darth Maul. That is a bold statement. How's how the ads <laughs> like. It's like true fanning you. It's like the ad's like a gatekeeper. It, it, it kind of, yeah. I um, I do say like everything that's advertised. I'm a, I'm like on. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I I, I hope I've still got that. Or I, it, it it is working. The future of the universe depends on how you play the game. Oh God, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Square off against Darth Maul in a lightsaber duel with electronic fighting figures. Crush armies of enemy droids in the electronic destroyer droid game. Seize control of planet Naboo in the battle for Naboo game. Assembly required. Or orchestrate an attack of starfighters in Star Wars, Simon. You must save the galaxy with Star Wars Episode One games from Hasbro. Batteries not included, each sold separately. Star Wars, it's your universe. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> Very nice. To space with Star Wars. May the Force be with you. Star Wars Micro Machines. There's a cool adventure in every collection. Micro Machines Star Wars collections and vehicle collections, each sold separately. That was epic. Uh, oh. <laughs> How's the vibe on this one? The Falcon little dashboard they built is pretty sick. That is really nice. That is really good. Ready for the adventure of a lifetime with Micro Machine Star Wars transforming action sets. Just like in the movies. No, it's not just like in the movie. No oh. one's head opens up in the movie. <laughs> Trust me, buddy. You're watching the wrong movie. You've been watching Men in Black. 
<laughs> Skywalker, Darth Vader, and all the Micro Machine Star Wars figures. It's Darth Vader! I will freeze your body in carbonite forever, Han Solo. Not so fast. You're next, Luke Skywalker. Star Wars action! May the Force be with you! Disney Great Small Micro Machines. New Star Wars transforming action sets, each sold separately. You put them together, new from Micro Machines. I can't believe that's the take they used. May the Force be with you! <laughs> Just try it one more time, mate. May the force be with you. Okay, fine. Whatever. Not sure. You can control the galaxy. Star Wars Lottie built the Rainland. I'm excited. The real Star Wars adventures. It's not the fire of the lasers. It's the Micro Machines Millennium Falcon playset. Emergency Hangar Bay. X-Wing Down. Bring it around. X-Wing Repair. Oh, wow. That thing is huge. What is it? Start her up. Ready for battle. Let's start with you. Please make place for all Micro Machines. New Micro Machines Star Wars running talk in place. We are going to take your spell collection tools separately. You put it together. Hold on to your seat. Wow. These oh. Micro Machines are bigger. Their new Star Wars. Micro Machines are bigger. Hey, if you loved a micro, <laughs> imagine if they weren't micro. They were just machines. Wow. Action fleet vehicles from Micro Machines, all action sized. For more Luke Skywalker action. X Wing, X Mode. More Darth Vader action. Darth Vader. There to the max. Vader, Lord Vader. A Star Wars action fleet with Rebel and Imperial forces all ready for battle. New action size for Star Wars adventures straight from the movies. New Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet vehicles with two action figures each sold separately. New from Gomul. It seemed like there was a lot of kids doing acid in the late 90s while they were playing with their toys. That their houses were like, you know, melting into... Yeah. Um, these action scenes. All right. Sarah well, didn't really work, apparently. We're almost done. All right, that was sick. That was really cool. Dude, that is why do I keep seeing my old logo flashing on your screen? What do you mean? I just keep seeing it. What do you mean your old logo? I keep seeing my old, like, First Order logo flash on your screen. What are you talking about? I, I don't know. I just keep Force seeing action fleet vehicles with two action figures each sold separately. New from Gomul. The coolest Star Wars adventures are out here. And in here. It's the new Star Wars Double Takes Death Star from Micro Machines. Whoa. That goes from the Death Star to Luke's planet Tatooine. And I'm back again. Out here, you command the Death Star. In here, you control planet Tatooine with six Star Wars movie scenes. Watch out for that Ronto. With the coolest vehicles and figures. It's awesome. For this much Star Wars action, you can play out here, in here, and back. Think big, play small, Micro Machines. New Micro Machines Star Wars Death Star Double Takes with vehicle and five figures. Other figure collections sold separately. Think big, play small. It's a good motto. Okay. Hold on to your seat. Wow! These Micro Machines are bigger. They're new Star Wars action fleet vehicles from Micro Machines, all mm. action-sized. Look out, Luke, or you've been lunch for the Raincore. The all-new Star Wars action fleet vehicles are here with new Rebel and Imperial forces just like- Shizel! Take this, Lord Vader. New Star Wars action fleet vehicles with the all-new Virago from Shadows of the Empire. More action from the action fleet. New Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet vehicles and creatures come with two figures each sold separately. New from Galoo. The force just got stronger with all new vehicles from the Star Wars action fleet. Coming in, Rebel Base! Han Solo and Chewbacca prepare for battle in the Millennium Falcon. Jump to hyperspace! She's got it. Imperial landing craft and range! Wow! Fire, Chewie! Blast him! With real Star Wars heroes straight from the movies. Rebel Blockade Runner, watch your back! Blast him, Han! New Star Wars vehicles from the Star Wars action fleet. The force is stronger than ever. Yeah! New Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet vehicles come with two figures, each sold separately. New from Galoo! I, I'm not. I'm not feeling the Galoob commercials. Ah, oh, I've seen those Phantom Menace ones from Hasbro. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I do have to say though, I was considering I, I might have to get some grabs from this because just the kid going, yeah, like that could be a bit more upbeat than your uh, vibe check bit of action. You know what I'm saying? Really? You're gonna be replaced now, Corey. You're gonna be replaced by a kid in like 1997. No, it's like Balance of the Force. All right, what else? I'll see. Oh, I think there's. Oh, wait. We'll fast forward because um, I know Corey's got to get back to his action, but there's a. Let's see if they stepped up for the Phantom Menace. Right. Now Anakin's got the MTTs in his sights. The Force is with him. 
Let's save the planet! Gemma Droid, be destroyed! To decide! Micro Machines! Now we're done. Rules your world! Wow! <laughs> Star Wars Micro Machines action fleet vehicles, each sold separately. Now we're talking. Only Star Wars Micro Machines puts you in control of Whoa. the Whoa! Whoa! Well. The Federation unleashes a battle droid attack, grab control of the Navi fighter. Facial! Let's save the planet! Micro Machines, your rules, your world. Star Wars Micro Machines action fleet vehicles, each sold separately. Only the world of Star Wars Micro Machines puts you in control of a turbopod, screaming through Baker's Canyon. Rev up your Turbo Blast Pod Racer and listen to the engines roar. Farts fly at full Sick. power, jam the throttle and take off. You launch Gasgano and Odie Mandrell. Race fast. Oh my Race god. Hard. They said Odie Mandrell on national television. What a <laughs> reference. <laughs> Race to the finish or finish each other off. Who wins? Quick survives. Micro Machines, your rules, your world. Star Wars Micro Machines, Turbo Blast Pod Racers, Gascano and Odie Mandrell, each sold separately. That guy's definitely going in the, the clips. Star Wars Micro Machines <laughs> puts you in control of a Turbo Blast Pod Racer. Rev up and listen to the engines roar. Sparks fly, then jam the throttle and take off. Who will make it to the finish? Quick survive. Star Wars Micro Machines, <laughs> Turbo Blast Pod Racers, each sold separately. All right, that was very, very fun. Thank you, Henderson Productions. I'll put the link down the bottom for everyone uh, after this um wow what an interesting look at those years huh what um what uh, 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 do they do ones for coin wars corey or no oh yeah all right well maybe in a couple yeah. weeks we'll do a, a clone wars edition well thanks to you guys for uh corey and uh, corey and aubrey thursdays um you know maybe one day we can um Get rid of that dead weight. And it just can be Aubrey Thursdays. It'll be great. <laughs> look, wow. look at her. Just just sitting there with one hat on, like a normal person. Hey? Yeah, I, I would I would replace me too for her, for sure. So, <laughs> oh, You're irreplaceable. Oh, oh. Damn. I mean, if I the show, Elsa and Steel's heart. So. Okay. <laughs> I, need, I need to see what's in your package, dude. Ah, good call. I was just going to say, maybe one day we could um, double date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do it for Aubrey, but I'll, I don't know about you, Steel. With, with, All right. Sorry, it's amazing. I'm, I'm really hyped about this. I've been thinking about it the whole time. This is just a special thrill. Did you... What's the history? It is from um, Bottleneck Gallery. And it is, a, I think it's a limited edition of a hundred screen print of The Mandalorian, episode five, The Gunsling. Oh my God. I love it. Oh my it's god. Amazing. That's actually pretty great. Now you can relive Toro Calican on Tatooine. <laughs> <laughs> they blaze across the Tatooine desert. <laughs> Only who survives. Or whatever. It's, <laughs> it's very, very violent. So um, yes, I'll be I'll, I'll be putting that in a frame and um mm. I'll put it behind me there. But um, thanks, you guys, for hanging out. It was super fun. I hope you enjoyed my little project. Um, yeah, that, that, was, that was pretty full on. Uh, Aubrey, uh, can you let the good people of the internet know where they can uh, follow you doing your Star Warsy endeavors? Yes. Um, you can find me and my Star Warsy endeavors um, at Satellite Tides on both uh, Twitter and Instagram. And I just post, I don't know, just the nerdy – Star Wars stuff I like and a lot of books. So, yeah. Excellent. Uh, Corey Van Dyke, where will you be um, scooping Star Wars next, buddy? You can follow me at Corey underscore Wolfback on Twitter and Instagram, as well as at KR Transmissions on Twitter and Kessel Run Transmissions on Instagram. You can check us out on YouTube at Kessel Run Transmissions where you can see our shenanigans and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah. Dude, when you get going with that, those 
Dinner you, you could you could get some voice work doing some um, new Hasbro yeah. commercials, buddy. I'd be down. But but midway through reading the script, you'd start complaining about the sculpting or something. You keep breaking script. Like, now you can relive the adventure. Well, not really, because you know, like Ahsoka's. You know, well, I don't even know what this company's doing. It's yeah. um, it, it wouldn't play well. Um, guys, respect the algorithm. That'd be fantastic. And I have a uh, a Q and A up tomorrow in this time. And then we'll be back on Monday and I've got a new interview episode that will be in YouTube and podcast as well coming up on, I think it will go up next Friday. So uh, something to look forward to. But um, thanks, you guys. I had a ball. Yeah, yeah I had so much fun. Yes. Excellent. But I think we can all agree that this podcast has gone on long enough. So, mate, that force and the power of the dark side ah, be with you mm-hmm.